Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to get Museum Kudos in the Varrock Museum. Now, you can obtain Kudos doing any activity in this video, but I usually do them in the following order. For the first 28 Kudos, there are no quests, stats, or items required, needed, nor any teleports are needed. I suggest you to go to the basement of the Varrock Museum. There you'll find the NPC Orlando Smith. Talk to him and select option 1 to start the quiz. Next, let's go a bit north and we'll need to answer some questions about monsters in Gilanor. You can do this in any order of your liking. Let's go to the first northwestern display and there you'll find a lizard. If you are using the Runelite game client and you study the plug in front of the display, then you'll see that the answer is already green. Simply click on it to answer. Every plug will have six questions. You will need to answer three of them correctly before you obtain two kudos. And in the entire basement, there are 14 displays. The questions on the blocks will be random for everyone. Either use rune light or select the answers currently on screen. Once you have gotten your first two kudos, go to the next plaque and do this with all 14 displays in the Varrock Museum basement. Once you have successfully answered three questions for all 14 displays, you should have at least 28 kudos. Go back to the center and talk to Orlando Smith to claim your reward, which is 1000 Slayer and Hunter Experience. Next, from 28 to 78 kudos, let's clean some finds. This can be done on the main floor of the Varrock Museum. The quest requirement is the dig site, there are no set requirements and no items are needed. It is recommended however to have at least 5 empty inventory slots. The more empty inventory slots, the better. To do some fine cleaning, let's open the gate next to the museum guard. Say yes that you will want to go in. And next to the empty specimen table, there you'll find some tools on the wall. Take the cleaning kit. Equip the boots and the gloves, then go stand next to the gate and they will find some dig site specimen rocks. Spam click until you have a full inventory of unclean finds. Once you have a full inventory, click on a empty specimen table 
And now you simply need to wait until you're done. You'll be getting a range of items from cleaning these finds. And the only items that are interesting are 5. And all of these have a range of dropping at a 1 in 17. These are... Pottery. An old blue symbol. An old brown symbol. As well as an ancient coin and an old coin. Be sure to keep one of each. Once you're done cleaning... What you can do with the rest of the items that you do not need, you could put them in the storage crate and there is a 1 in 97.5% chance that you will get an XP lamp granting 500 experience that you can put on any skill. But I think that that is a waste of time unless you are a level 3 wanting some free Slayer experience. Just simply drop everything, take another full inventory of uncleaned finds and start cleaning once again. Do this until you have the ancient coin, the old coin, the old blue symbol and the old brown symbol as well as at least one pottery item. Now there's also a 1 in 51 chance to get a sixth item. That is a clean necklace which looks identical to a ruby necklace. This item is required for the Varrock medium diary as well as it holds some handy teleports to Fossil Island and the dig site. Oh, it only took... Wow, that was uh, really lucky to be honest, because it only took me two full inventories to get all the six required items. Once you have at least one out of six items, we will need to use these on any of the sitting archaeologists also doing some fine cleaning. Simply use any and all items on these characters and they will tell you which case they will need to be put in. For the final item, the clean necklace, once you've used that on any of these archaeologists, they will take it and once you make yourself a ruby necklace, you can now enchant it using level 3 enchant to make it into a dig site pendant. Once you have teleported with the dig site pendant, you have completed the Varrock medium diary task to do so. For the remaining 5 items, therefore, open the gate back into the museum. And first, just up north, in this display case we will need to put the blue cross symbol. The display just north is the old brown cross. And next to the museum guard is the old coin. The tile just north is the ancient coin. And then one of your many potteries, put that in the display case north of the ancient coin. And all of these will grant you 10 kudos each. And that should get you from 28 to 78 kudos. Next is from 78 to 153 kudos. To get this, I suggest you to go to the first floor of the museum. And here you'll find the NPC called Historian Minas. Select the second option that you have some information about the displays here in the museum. And keep pressing space and you'll see that the counter of the kudos will slowly go up by 5 for every quest that you have completed currently on this list. Also for some certain quests you will be getting some XP lamps. Now I do have to mention that if you have completed the quest what lies below, to complete this task you will first need to make your way to the Varrock library where Reldo is located. Here in the Vrock Library, go to the northeastern corner and search that bookcase to find the Dagon High History. Deliver this to Historia Minas for 5 additional kudos. If you do not have enough quests completed to start the Bone Voyage quest, which requires 100 kudos, or the Vrock Hard Diary, which requires 153, there are other ways to gain kudos, but these will take much longer. One alternative is to do some Comdazal activity after the Below Ice Mountain quest and hope for 1 out of 5 items that give 1 kudos each. But these items are quite rare and slow to obtain because of their drop rate of 1 in 350. And you can also get duplicates. 
So a much better alternative to get 153 kudos if you do not want to complete these quests is to do some activities on Fossil Island. Also, for every 5 fossils of Fossil Island from the same size, you will get an experience lamp. Once you have achieved your 153 museum kudos, then simply talk to Curator Hack Halen to complete your Varrock Heart Diary task. Now with these kudos, what you can also do is talk to the information clerk next to the entrance in the corner. Talking to the information clerk will give you some experience depending on the amount of kudos that you currently have. Now because the given XP will be given you directly and not via XP lamps, if you are a special restricted account, be sure to watch out before talking to the information clerk. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.